Hello guys and welcome back to another episode. Hopefully this time the mic is going to have actual good quality audio. Your mom. And it won't sound like uh, cheap Chinese microphones. Knock off. Yeah, I wonder who bought those. Alright, and today's video we got a member who we haven't seen in a while. Here's Poke. He's gonna be leaving the United States of America. Aww. Gonna go to a commie country. I do wish you the best, man. It's not communist. It's, <laughs> not yet. it's socialist, I believe, actually. <laughs> but we we thought of giving him one one last good memory of good old Texas with the range out here and uh, show him some cool guns before good old Sleepy Joe makes more bands on them. So uh, let's get the first one out. Simon, would you like to pick the first one you'd like to introduce? Right there. Okay, <laughs> so Simon's first gun that he's going to be shooting is going to be a, uh, I guess, something unique. Would you like to show the audience what it is? Actually, give me a sec. Let me get my GoPro. Let me explain. It may look like a 3D printed gun. It's not. It's actually a gun from the future. It's one, it's an the evolution of the 1911. So we all know the 1911s won two world wars, and that's all great and all. But this thing, the 3011, has won three world wars. Truly amazing. I can't disclose exactly how I got it uh, <laughs> classified, but what's important is I have it. It's won three world wars, and it's probably the best gun to be ever made. Y not yet, though, but you know. In the future. Yeah. Well, it looks like a 1911, really, except for the trigger, you know, 1911 Max, going right here. That's the slide release. Pull this back the chamber around. This is the safety. And you fire with the trigger when it's on fire, facing vertically. And, I mean, that's all there is really to it. I can add an optic later, but I didn't have any one that was, any Small optic enough. that was high enough, so the slide would have kept hitting it. So I didn't have an optic, but it might blow up, so, so wait, I, I don't want question. the optic to get so what do you think? all in my hand, right? You excited to be the first tester? <laughs> Sounds autistic. <laughs> all right. I, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't put that in. Uh, I think you're the perfect man for the job, then. All right, I got <laughs> it. I got it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'll be honest. There's a chance it won't fire. Like, you'll just pull the trigger and nothing happens. Because... I won't complicate you with the details, but this slide has some sort of safety that the lower needs to activate. So I think I got rid of it, but I'm not 100% sure if it'll work. And also the hammer might not be strong enough. I don't know. Should we get That's to the fun true. part? Shooting it? Well, yeah. Well, I just need to get some ammo for it. All right, let's do this. Dragon it only likes round feet. bullets. It doesn't like bullets that have any flat part. It just doesn't feed for some reason. You're telling me it's shapist? Yes, it's very shapeless. It's very shapeless. The future it's is the very future shapeless, shapeless, unfortunately. I guess. We fix racism, but shapeism is just a problem we still haven't gotten into yet. I'll just speed up a little bit. <laughs> Holy shit. Did it, loud. did it chamber? I'm just checking and seeing if there's any cracks. No, I uh, think it's looks fine. looks good. It's a 45 ACP. I'm assuming if it were to crack, we'd see it a lot sooner. Oh, this feels so weird. So cool.
Yeah, you pull the slide back. Yo, check out that lizard. Shoot it, shoot it. Next gun we're gonna do is going to be a nice little 22. Very nice. Old, 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 old 22. Would you like to hold it? Sure. Would you like to tell him the history behind it? Uh, it's a, uh, it's from my great, great grandfather, Philip Shrimp. And all the deer that he's killed, he has marked on the gun itself. And Albert, uh, did some modifications. He uh, repainted the whole stock. He kept the signal, uh, the the signs. He also added AC for Austin Corona. And then down here is the American flag. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Uh, so there's no safety on the gun. Uh, so if you load it, you load it. I mean, you could pull this like that. Sort of like a safety. So yeah, right. are you ready to shoot it? Sure. What are you around, so. Pretend you're a patriot in 1776. <laughs> Am I allowed to shoot? Yeah, yeah you're you good. Shoot. You're good. It's 22. All right, now <laughs> pull it out. <laughs> yeah, there's no recoil to it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little baby one. Yeah. Yeah, be as mean as you want to it. It's not gonna hurt it. Oh, one at the head. I shot right one? in the middle and then one at the... Yeah, that's pretty good. Hit somebody. First, First shot. shot. And yeah. then second shot. Yeah, but that's why you don't... With this... You do the mag back. So we're back into the lobby. Next up, we're going to be doing the category 57. Uh, we have some pretty good lineups, if I am correct. So would you like to show which one's gonna be the first one? Well, the first one is gonna be the FN 57. It's just a pistol chambered in 57. So the safety's odd. Instead of the safety being right here where it is on the most pistols, it's right here. So that's fire, that's safe. No round in the chamber is right here. Put that down, it goes forward. Mag release right there. Uh, that's all there really is to it. This is the magazine, only shoots. It'll only uh, shoot if there's a magazine inserted. See, there's, I can't dry fire it. Yeah, that's all there is with that one. P90, pretty odd. It rotates the bullets and the feeding. You just, to load it, you just, Insert it, and then give it a good old smack, and then you're good to go. Put the charging handle. Safety is right here. That's red is dead. Safety is white. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the AR5 Cephid. It's literally a P90. Uh, the only difference is it's it has AR control groups, and it's not a bullpup. Yeah. That's not, yeah. I mean, technically, it still is a bullpup. No, it's not. Because the, uh, the feeding is after oh, yeah. the trigger, yeah. Safety, it's literally an AR safety, fire, safe, lower receiver, upper receiver. It's just, just standard AR that just shoots 5-7. Are you ready for a pop quiz? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, well, let's get to the fun part. All right, well, do you want me to shoot this? Yes. Like now? Well, that is the plan, is it not?
Can you please stop doing that? No. All right, guys. So we're moving on to the next runner-ups, which is going to be 556 five, and 300 blackout. Now, would you guys like to start? I guess let's start with 556 five, over here. Wow. The Steiner Aug. The Steiner Aug. Bolt up. I've made some upgrades to it, like some mostly just a lot of trigger upgrades, but I've also given it a bigger mag release. It's nice because it has some cool features. One thing you can do is take out the barrel. like. Name any other gun that you can quick change the barrel that quickly. You know? Oh, did you tell him the uh, best way to grab it is by grabbing this entire part? <laughs> oh. That's a horrible idea. Your hand will burn <laughs> off. All the gas comes out and your hand is going to be black for at least two weeks. Pretty nice gun. I like it a lot. Alright. Awesome. Would you record me now? Sure. All right, well, time to give you the crap of the corn, as they say, the meat and the potatoes, uh -huh. the best of the best, okay. the runner-up to be the greatest gun ever to ever exist, practically ever, just absolutely fantastic, is going to be this 300 Blackout AR-15 that I built. What a loser. I like to keep it simple, it's light, it's good. The, what about the charging handle? The charging handle is ambidextrous. Today's word is ambidextrous. So ambidextrous. And uh, the Can grip, the grip, it, yes, it's spelled. Uh, <laughs> then the grip is custom. It is a 3D printed grip. It's called an apple pie. Uh, oh, okay. So I'll put the link on where I got that. And then it has a little charm, which everybody kind of knows, which is a little cross because uh, God help the day I have to use it and that's it <laughs> <laughs> all right you ready no this is the best AR ever the greatest AR ever it's unloaded I swear it also has an ambidextrous charging handle you could do it on any side just in case if I had a left-handed shooter for the carry handle because I think carry handles are the best and if you don't go with a carry handle, you actually a got a really nice build. Actually, no carry handles are super bad. Like that loser right there who <laughs> doesn't have a carry you, you handle. You don't even need. This to. is what an AR you is supposed to look like. This is what an AR is supposed Bruh. to look like. All right, well let's get to shooting, low boys and girls, because talk is cheap and ammunition's expensive. Hey, that's the wrong channel. You know how it works, right? Yep. Uh, it's already. There's one already in there. Okay. All you have to do is just... Go for it! Holy shit. As fast as you can. As fast as I can? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm deaf now. That's for sure. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I'm... <laughs> How's the kick? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't kick that bad, does it? <laughs> no, it was, it was like... I, was, <laughs> I don't even know, man. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, oh, why is that pointing at me? That should not be pointing at me. So we're gonna be moving on to the next guns before we do our pistols. These are going to be the dumpers of the group, the heavy hitters. Uh, so you wanna, let's start with Austin this time. All right. What do you got right there? This is a 3030 repeater. It shoots these big giant ass bullets called 3030. Yeah, it's so fun to shoot. You just pop this open and then you put the bullet in here and then you can pull forward. It loads it. It's a lever action. Uh, there's no safety on here because they didn't invent safeties back in the day. So no safety. Yeah, they did. So once it's loaded, it's loaded. Yeah. Okay. It, it feels like, uh... It's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's like, like a little jolt. Yeah. Uh, it's a big jolt. And on this round, we have the... Rifle from Motherland Russia. Chambered <laughs> in 762x54R. Five round magazine. I'm gonna stop my Russian accent now because it sucks. But <laughs> it was it's a uh, World Russian. War. This one's made in World War II. They were made through World War One, like I think late 1800s even. They made them in like 1895. Uh, this one's a World War II one though, made in 1940. So during World War II, which means it's not as high quality as most Mosins, but I still love it. It's my baby. What did you think of the 556 and 300? Those were those were probably the bigger kickers so far. Which one did you prefer most, most out of all of them? Like, if you had to choose one. Hmm. Probably the... The bullpup. Bullup. Yeah, the og. The og. All right. The og was awesome. You made the correct one. choice. Second would be the one Albert had. <laughs> the third is Austin's. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. So, I guess we'll be moving on to... To the next thing of shooting. So, let's cut to that. Albert, do the edit. <laughs> Is it already ready? You're gonna have to load it. Go for it. There you go. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was awesome, yeah. Your protection actually worked? That worked, yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. There's no better person for this job. Good luck with the next one. Is Give it a slap. That hit me in the face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good range day. I do wish you the best of luck out, uh, you know, out of country. It was a pleasure. Yeah. But you're firing. It's fun. All right. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure. I'm glad you could come out. I yeah, hope you enjoyed you. your day. Yep. Thank you. I did. It's been a pleasure meeting. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching us. Uh, it means the world. Uh, and we'll see does. you later. Yep.